how you can outline your presentation. A careful prepared outline can be more than just starting points for composing a speech or presentation. You can write sentences or you can write phrases in the shape of notes that can help you. If you are going to include any sort of uh, visual aids into your uh, presentation, you must uh, make certain cues for it, write certain notes into your uh, presentation that where you have to include those uh, uh, visuals and where you don't have to use them. So making an outline uh, line of the uh, preposition is uh, presentation is very important. Decide on the style, which style you are going to adopt. Choose your style to fit the occasion your audience, your size, your subject, and your purpose. It means that you have to choose your style according to your audience and your occasion, obviously your purpose. Decide on an appropriate style on the, these basis. Use a casual style for small group. Use a formal style for large groups and important events, obviously, when you know that you, you are talking to few people, you will be using an informal style. And we, when you know that you are talking to a lot of people, you will be using formal style. In both formal and informal presentation, keep things simple. That is the main important thing. Your style may be formal or informal, but things are very simple. And when things are simple, when you are Describing your ideas is in a simple manner people are going to listen to you and when they will uh, Find simplicity. They'll be readily listening to you their attention will be more towards you so after deciding on an appropriate style develop your oral presentation How formal presentations differ from formal reports as I just said that organize your longer presentation like formal reports but they're not similar there is certainly a difference between the two and difference is that formal presentation are more interactive with the audience obviously in formal reports you are not interactive with the audience here you are more interactive you can you can establish a rapport with your audience so in this way, you become interactive. You use more nonverbal cues. That's the thing that makes it different from formal report. Nonverbal cues are very important to get your message across. Can you imagine a person talking to people without making any nonverbal cues? Nonverbal cues in a long presentation can help message get across. So as a speaker of a formal presentation, you have to think of these nonverbal cues, your gestures, your facial expression, your eye contact, the way you are standing, all these things. So this is how it, it is different. Another difference is that in formal presentation, we have less control of contents. I mean, in a formal report, the contents are very strictly controlled. But in a formal presentation, the control is not that much. Another thing is, in formal presentation, there is greater need to help the audience stay on track. So, to help the audience stay on track, you need to all these things. You need to make your presentation very interesting and to make your presentation interesting, informative, uh, you have to think of the ideas. You have to think of all the uh, steps that we've been talking about. You have to write your presentation very effectively. You tailor your presentation in a manner that suits the purpose, that suits the occasion, that suits the audience. So these are few differences between a formal presentation and a formal report. Otherwise they are similar. And the most important thing or the main similarity between the two is that they need to be worked out in the same way. They need to be spent time 
similarly so far as the homework is concerned uh, they are quite equal